We're still in the teeth of this pandemic. In fact, January was the single deadliest month of the whole pandemic. We lost nearly 100,000 lives. I know some in Congress think we've already done enough to deal with the crisis in the country. Others think that things are getting better and we can afford to sit back and either do little or do nothing at all. That's not what I see. I see enormous pain in this country. A lot of folks out of work. A lot of folks going hungry, staring at the ceiling tonight, wondering, what am I going to do tomorrow? A lot of folks trying to figure out how to keep their jobs and take care of their children. And I believe the American people are looking right now to their government for help to do our job, to not let them down. So I'm going to act, and I'm going to act fast. I'd like to be, uh, I'd like to be doing it with the support of Republicans. I've met with Republicans. There's some really fine people who want to get something done, but they're just not willing to go as far as I think we have to go. I've told both Republicans and Democrats that's my preference to work together. But if I have to choose between getting help right now to Americans who are hurting so badly and getting dry, bogged down in a lengthy negotiation or compromising on a bill that's, that, that, that's up to the crisis, that's an easy choice. I'm going to help the American people who are hurting now. So job number one of the American Rescue Plan is vaccines. Vaccines. The second, the American Rescue Plan is going to keep the commitment of $2,000. 600 has already gone out. $1,400 checks to people who need it. This is money directly in people's pockets. They need it. We need to target that money. They need the money. And they're going to get it. And here's what I won't do. I'm not cutting the size of the checks. They're going to be $1,400, period. That's what the American people were promised.